So it's Christmas time, and you know what that means. Time to talk about the NFL and how it can cause severe brain damage and sometimes kill people. All right, let's get into my review of Concussion. All right, guys, so Concussion. Now, I don't really know how to explain this movie. I mean, it's about a doctor who realizes the dangers of the NFL and how it could cause concussions, and he wants to do something about it. I know it's a really vague plot summary, but I really don't know how else to explain the movie. Now, I was really excited for a concussion. Will Smith, I mean, yeah, he had an accident in the trailer, and it was a little weird when he was like, tell the truth, but I still thought it was a very interesting story, as well as I wanted to know more about what happened behind the scenes of the NFL and about this Dr. Bennett O'Malley, and I enjoy Will Smith. So I was very interested in this movie, and I got a chance to see it because it came online, and how was it? Well, let's find out. Now, this isn't a bad movie, but it's definitely one of the biggest letdowns of 2015. Concussion. Let's just talk about it. There are some things that I enjoyed about this movie. I mean, for one, the performances are fantastic. Will Smith plays the main character, Bennett O'Malley, and he does a fantastic job. It's stellar. He knocks it out of the park. He does a great job in here. The accent, once you, like, get into the movie, it's kind of just like, you, you don't really see Will Smith you more or less see the character that he's playing, and I thought he did a really good job of that. Albert Brooks also did a very solid job. He, like, cared just enough, but, like, he wasn't, like, overwhelmingly, like, cared about the situation. I really thought his character was good. Alec Baldwin, he also did a really good job in the movie. Gugu McBaw-The-Raw? I might have said that wrong, and if I did, I'm sorry, but she plays Will Smith's love and interest in the movie. And she does a fantastic job here as well. All around, the performances are really, really good in this movie. So, I definitely think that it should get, like, I, I should at least get a nomination. And I'm happy that Will Smith got a nomination at the Golden Globes for his performance. I thought it was really deserving. Also, Peter Lansman's direction is really good here. You really do get to, like, he doesn't, like, hold back. Like, he shows you what's really going on and... He, it's not in any way to expose the NFL. He doesn't direct it in that way, but it's more or less informative and it doesn't want you to be like, oh, never watching football again, but like, he wants to like inform you of this and I thought he did a really good job of that. Another thing that I enjoyed about the movie was the cinematography. It looked really good. I mean, especially the scenes on the football field because this takes place in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I thought that the color of the Steelers yellow really stood on the movie. I thought that was really well done for the cinematography. As well as just some of the scenes where they're just talking, the characters are just talking, whether it's outside or it's inside, just the scenery around them is just very beautiful and it's very well shot. However, I do have a fairly decent amount of problems with this movie. Now, for one, I really think that it has a lot of boring moments in here. I'm sorry, but... As I was watching, I had to pause it, like, I had to, like, rewind, like, five times in this two-hour movie, and that's not a good sign. I kept falling asleep. Like, it, it's, it's not a fast movie at all. It takes its time, and for some movies, that could actually be really good, but for this, it's not very good. Just really bad pacing. As well as the first act was very interesting, and I was really into the movie. Then when it shifts to the second and the third act, it gets extremely boring in my opinion. And I was just really uninterested and really unengaged throughout the entire second and third act. And for a movie like this, you don't want to do that because as it as it goes into those acts, then it's gonna obviously lead to more like situations and like more evidence being discovered. But for me personally, I was just really bored throughout the last two acts. Of this movie overall though concussion isn't like horrible like I said I mean if you want to see it so feel free to check it out and like it, it brings really good performances to the table has really good direction and cinematography however that is all dragged down by 
it being a little, a little, not, not a little, but very slow, as well as an unengaging second and third act. Overall, I'm going to give Concussion a C+. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until my next review, I'm Mr. 401 and I will see you all later.